Welcome to another video interview brought to you by AICHE's online community, Connected. My name is Bill Rooney. I am a Principal Technology Service Specialist from Honeywell UOP and this year's Gas Utilization Topical Program Chair. With me is Bill Hoy, an independent consultant providing commercial and technical expertise and advisory services to the oil and gas and power industries. Bill has over 35 years of industrial experience in the development of small and large-scale energy projects. In addition to the development activities, Bill has held executive level leadership positions, including profit and loss responsibility for commercial entities with value chain commitments. Bill is the 2016 Spring Meetings Gas Utilization Topical Conference keynote speaker. Bill, welcome. The title of your talk is titled Commercial Aspects of the LNG Value Chain, where you speak about how LNG projects have progressed over the years and the key attributes needed to implement them seamlessly. Can you tell us a bit about what new projects we can expect to see in the future? Yes, Bill, I can. I think looking into the future, we see projects that have kind of grown from either the traditional very large scale LNG projects that were only in the remit of very large companies. And I think what we're seeing now is a change and a shift where people are trying to find uh, lower cost ways to uh, enter the industry, but also to lower cost ways to attract new customers. I think instead of trying to create large scale customer bases, I think people are gonna look for uh, narrower windows of opportunity with customers, trying to get more near term success with trying it with the projects and uh, look to, to use that with external financing that, that allow them to move these projects forward very quickly. Okay. Is there a key point that you would like today's meeting attendees to take away from your talk? I think we've learned a lot in the LNG world over the last several decades. Uh, we've learned a lot about technology, we've learned a lot about how we can improve that technology, We've learned a lot about new commercial structures and how we can optimize that. But I think what we need to also realize that the world is probably changing. Not completely, but to, to an extent where we need to come up with new innovative ways to, to structure commercially uh, around LNG opportunities, but also to keep working on uh, technological advances in, in trying to reduce uh, liquefaction costs, energy savings, and areas where we can obviously reduce the footprint, whether it's environmental or economic footprint, in areas to, to make these projects more viable, and more attractive in the future. So it's a combination of commercial and technical and environmental issues yes, all driving. Yes, I think it is. You have to look at all of those this, this with the same importance. Sure, continuing on to wrap up, is there one message you would like to share with younger professionals looking to start a career in the LNG industry, and what would it be? I think uh, get a fundamental understanding of the technology, uh, good process background helps, mm -hmm. but also too, I think, look at, uh, let, let your organization know that you have some energy around uh, understanding the commercial aspects of how these projects are driven and how people uh, view these projects from different perspectives, whether it's a customer or a seller or a host government or a host uh, industry, that, that you have an interest in helping make one of these opportunities into a commercial success. Okay. Well, thank you for that advice. I would like to thank you very much for sharing your thoughts today with AICHE and the Connected Community. My pleasure.